Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video on my third episode of booking GPW Succession Game. Now, uh, I have got the book, uh, show booked, but before I do, something I forgot to mention is that I did create an alliance, I can't see it now, that's a mistake from my part, I, do, I did want to show it to you, but it is called um, World at War Wrestling. No, no, what? What am I... What? It's World Alliance of Wrestling, um, and it does have, ah, who does it have in it? Uh, this is, this is a bit, it has, um, Pro Wrestling Noah, All Japan Pro Wrestling, Ring of Honor, and ICW. I will show it, uh, I will show it to you after the show, but right now let's get right into it. We've got a, our third, um, show here. Monday, week 3, September 2016. We've got two pre-show matches. Let's go. In the first pre-show match, in a 55C-, minus, in the pre-show about bad, decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat, Global Alliance defeated TJ Perkins and Kevin Kiley in 554, when Carl Carnage defeated Kevin Kiley by submission. Decent match. Global Alliance, the superior team here, in terms of in terms of in-ring performance. Let's go. And our second uh, match, um, our second pre-show match is just a get everyone on the card match. It was a 66 C plus and a pre-show about had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Ethan Carter third, Aaron Stevens, Chris Hero, Frankie Kazarian and Eric Young defeated Johnny Nitro with the Young Bucks, PJ Black and Cole Cabana in 11.35 uh, when Aaron Stevens defeated Cole Cabana by Pin Football Terminus. So... I'm not going to go through all these um, performances, but you can see Ethan Carter third. Nope, Johnny Nitro had the best one, followed by Ethan Carter third, followed by Aaron Stevens. Decent match. Some in work improvements. Aaron Stevens in technical skills. Ethan Carter in performance skills. Cole Cabana in performance skills. Uh, and Nick Jackson in both rumble and performance skills. Let's get on with the main show. In a 72B minus, we have Taz announcing. The newest signing for GPW is Drew Galloway, and he will be facing his opponent, also from the British Isle, Isles, today in the main event against, he'll be against Magnus. This angle got the show off to, um, to a strong start. This angle got the crowd hotter, and Drew Galloway has debuted his old school face gimmick. He has an initial rating of below average. Ah, well. I guess we'll have to work with that. Next. First match gets a 76B minus. The battle had great wrestling and good heat. Motor City Machine Guns defeated Zack Sabre Jr. and Matt Seidel in 8.17 when Alex Shelley defeated Matt Seidel by submission of a Border City stretch after interference from Aaron Stevens. So you can see the Motor City Machine Guns were superior um, during this match. The You're Welcome and Super Lightweight storylines both uh, progressed. You can see Alex Shelley getting the upper hand now over Zack Sabre Jr. in this tag team match. The challenger getting the upper hand over the champion. What will this result in? Next segment. Uh, we have an, uh, Cody Rhodes saying that he's doing an open challenge and Noam Dar comes out. Uh, Cody Rhodes came across well. Noam Dar looked lost out there. You know, Cody Rhodes is our world champion. Noam Dar is a low mid carder. It's, it's normal. Yes. And in a 65C, not a bad match, a decent match, Cody Rhodes defeated Noam Dar in 5.53 with a crossroads. Cody Rhodes was really off his game. He had an in-ring performance of 67, and Noam Dar had an in-ring performance of 42. Any work improvements? No. Let's keep going. In a 40D-, minus, Nick Jackson is uh, in the ring giving an interview about um, Chris Hero attacking him last week. Honestly, I have no idea whether it was Nick or Matt Jackson that he got attacked last week, but let's just roll with it. Chris Hero comes out and enters the ring. Uh, after some back-and-forth insults, he attacks, laying Nick Jackson out. Matt Jackson comes out from the back, hits the ring, and cleans house, saving Nick Jackson. And then, uh, in another uh, D9-40, the analysis put up the fact that we'll be seeing Chris Hero take on both Nick Jackson and Matt's... It's supposed to be Matt Jackson, ignore that. Wait, Matt Jackson. There we go. Pre-booking, be the best book match. Let's 
going to be a uh, 1v2 handicap. Chris Hero. For Young Bucks. There we go. Next. In our main event, in the 72B minus, the Belfast had fantastic heat and good wrestling. Drew Galloway defeated Magnus in 1602 by pinfall Scott Drop after distraction from Johnny Nitro. Drew Galloway had an in ring performance of 63, Magnus had an in ring performance of 64. Magnus is improving in performance skills. That was our main event, and the last segment gets a 65C. The match is over, Johnny Nitro is celebrating with Drew Galloway. Magnus looks angry and jumps in from behind, beating him down. This should have continued the world title storyline. Hmm. Anyway, let's end the show. And 71 um, beam, uh, C, uh, 71 C plus. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not a bad show. And I'll see you at the main title screen to show you our alliance. And we are back at the main title screen. We've got some emails waiting for us. Let's just, um, do them. Time to heal. No, I'm is feeling the effects of growing recent schedule. So it's not side down. And drug test fees cost us 5,000. Next. Let's show you the alliance. Yep. All Japan Pro Wrestling. Insane Championship Wrestling. Pro Wrestling No. And Ring of Honor. I might even add a title there. I don't know. That's, that's still up for debate. Well, debate with myself. so Because I make the final decision about this. But... I'm, I think I will create a title off screen. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you here. Make sure to like, subscribe to everyone involved in the series. If you want to be involved in the series, make sure to comment down below. And 